Oh, oh, that's a nice one. There we go. There we go. Now then, and welcome back to another episode of Adventure Fishing UK. As you can see, I'm on the canal, and the approach for today is I'm going to do a little bit of stop, pop, stop popping, spot hopping between all my favourite places on the canal. So I'm just going to be at one spot, hop in the car, drive to another, hop in the car, drive to another, just with the aim of trying to get a few pike on the bank. Because as you know, this is the first time I've been on the canal in a very long time, and I could not be more excited about it. Another thing I'm really excited about today is the rod. I am using something very cool. Now this is the LMAB Rod Father, five to 15 gram, I think it is. Five to 15 gram, 2.13 meter rod. So, so excited. And I have some really funky lures to go with it. So we have a 10 gram Kofi Multi Vibe in a slightly roachier pattern than this. Then as a trailer, we've got a Kofi Perch, nine centimeter, really cool looking pattern that, plus scented. Can't go wrong with that, can you? Look how good that looks. Could almost eat that myself. So excited to get using this because I've never really used this kind of thing before. Just got down to the first place today, sort of canal basin type place. Plenty of boats, plenty of deeper water, loads of structure for bait fish. Fingers crossed we can get off the mark pretty quick here. And of that, I'm quite confident, but not certain. The action on this lure is just superb. I can feel the vibrations just tap, tap, tapping away at the end of the rod. Surely this is gonna draw something in from pretty far, hopefully, if it feels it. Don't know if you just saw that, but there's loads of sort of coarse fish spawning under there. And a big pike just came and nailed a few of them. Gonna see if we can get a couple casts right into that area. I've been just waiting, watching to see if a pie could show up and I knew it wouldn't be long. Well, I've had a couple of nibbles, but other than that, it's been a slow first hour, I'd say. Good job we got plenty more places to try. Plenty of good places too. Don't know why it's quiet here. I think those, I think the pike must be just so tuned in to the spawning bait fish that it's hard to tempt them on anything else. Well, I think that's pretty much it for spot one. I'm just gonna hop into the car and move on now. Got some really cool other places to try. Got some big canal basins. What else have we got? We've got some very weedy areas, lots of places with lots of reeds. We've got all sorts, some even inner village spots to try out. So plenty of opportunity for the rest of the day. Just got down to the second spot, really eager to get going now. So I'm just gonna have a few casts here, work my way under that bridge and then round the corner. Oh, oh I had a good bite then pulled it out of its mouth. Oh, that looked like a really nice fish. Oh, I hope I've not spooked it. Come on. Didn't really realize what had happened at first. I'd lost concentration. I think it just spat it out. There we go. There we go. Oh, that's not a bad one. Oh no, it's come off. Oh no. <laughs> that was such a nice fish. Oh, no, you're joking. Oh. I'm good about that, especially considering we're on a canal. That was a really, really nice canal pike, that. Heartbroken. Just back the hook again. I suppose I was lucky I got another shot at it, but I won't be getting another. Well, to be honest, I'm a bit gutted about that. That's the first fish I've had on properly all day. And it was a nice one for the canal too. 
Oh well, onwards and upwards. Another one! Another one! Whoa. I hope this one doesn't come off. I should have had my net ready. Should have definitely had my net ready. <laughs> We've got it. Come on. Just going to wet my unhooking mat as you always should when you're fishing. I knew it was only a matter of time before this worked because this spinner bait looked so good in the water. It's not a big fish, it's just a jack, but it's a bit of compensation for losing that fish that must have been two or three times the size of this. But then again, it's just nice to be getting one on the bank. This fish is very nice and well rested now. Off it goes. I just can't believe that after all this time to hook one so soon after losing one that is just an incredible turn of events we've gone from really bad luck to really good luck in a matter of minutes hopefully we're going to find something just a little bit bigger than that through the rest of the day well that's given me some much needed morale really excited to see what the rest of the day holds now spot number one didn't go as planned but spot number two has so far exceeded Exceeded expectations. This rod is really working a treat for me today. It's got a very stiff action to it as far as a, a 5 to 15 gram rod goes. It is strong, very powerful. Which is ideal when you're using single hooks like this because you can get a good hook set in, even into a firm pike's mouth. one that's a nice one or well, maybe not maybe it's just giving me a good scrap slightly bigger than the last one though i was reeling that really quick then just because i was going to move spot and it's in the net get in come on only about five minutes after the last one didn't think i'd be getting the unhooking mat out again already well i'm not gonna lie i thought this fish was a lot bigger when it first hit that uh Lure gave me a real smack, but yeah, big surprise too. So nice to be catching another fish, albeit just a small one. Well, I was reeling that in with such speed then. I don't know how that pike managed to grab onto that, but it really, really gave me a scare then. I mean, the fishing has just turned on now. I'm so eager to see what else is going to hit this LMAB multi-vibe. Surely there's going to be nothing left of this soon. It's just getting crunched time and time again. Oh, I just had a hit then. That pike just came out from under those reeds and just smacked it. I can't emphasize enough how nice it is to be back out on the canal. I have waited a long time for this trip. I decided not to do that much, if any, canal pike fishing over winter. And then there was spawning, the pike was spawning up till fairly recently. So there's been a long, long wait, but I really do feel like I'm at home on the canal. And to just be catching a couple of fish so so pleased with today so far well i'm getting plenty of nibbly little bites from the smaller fish but finding it hard to get through to anything a bit bigger well that's me all done at spot number two heading off to spot number three now spot number three has a much higher chance of a bigger pike too which we've got that to look forward to
Right, well, here we are, the third and final spot for the day and probably the most promising for a big fish too. Big old basin thing. Really excited to have a few chucks in here. Cast to the rise, come on. Come on, hit it, please. Oh, why can I never catch a rising pike? Something I've always struggled with. Seems to just be the ones I don't see that I catch. Maybe I'm not quick enough. Right, if this was any of you watching now, I need answers. I can understand how you could get one lure stuck on a wire like that. Ridiculous. Unless, of course, you were trying to get one down with the other and ended up getting yourself in an even worse situation. Fish on. Fish on, come on, yes. Get in, get in. It's no monster again, but it's, it's another fish on. Yes. And we've got it, get in. Well, it's not quite the big one we were after. Very similar in size to the others. Another skinny little jack. However, it has put a massive smile on my face at this time of the day. If you are enjoying this video and you want to see more from this channel, hit that subscribe button. As always, we'll just give this fish a nice healthy rest before we send it on its way. He just could not resist the LMAB combo. The Kofi perch and the multi vibe. I can't believe we have had one right at the end. What an absolute treat. As always, thank you very much for watching and hopefully I'll see you here for the next video.